Good morning. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, you guys. I am continuing my tradition of taking myself on a solo day every single year because my relationship to myself is the most important relationship in my life. And I get to celebrate the love I have for myself along with Galentine's, romantic Valentine's, but I have to put in some time for myself. So that's what today is about. And I'm starting the day with going on a walk, moving my body because that's a form of self-care. I want to give myself my best shot in terms of energy for the day. So I want to get out in nature, I want to move my body, that way I'm actually a fully functioning human for the day, my mental health is a lot better. I am listening to my romanticizing life playlist on Spotify right now and I am just people watching and it's just such a beautiful start to my day so I'm feeling really good. Today is all about good vibes and just doing things just to have a good day. That's it, let's go. obviously i honestly love these pink roses i buy myself flowers every single week anyway it's one of my favorite self-love practices that i give to myself but today they are especially important because i am about to do another one of my annual valentine's day photo shoots i always do a valentine's day themed like picture for my instagram feed but this year it's extra special because i want to like give back to you guys this valentine's day so i'm actually shooting for a set of pajamas that I'm giving away. I've worn it a few times before and I always get so many questions. So I've teamed up with the brand to give away the pajamas. So I'm thinking self care vibes, reading Vogue in bed with a face mask on. Let's go shoot it. well my camera set up right here where the window is so I can get a bunch of natural light and I'm just gonna shoot like a super cute self-love self-care vibe photo in these pajamas that I will be giving away to one lucky winner on my Instagram I'm so excited just gonna set up the right frame I think I got it straight away with the hell. Yeah, I feel so cute and so good about myself right now. Oh, it literally only took one picture and I love it. I got some really cute content for my Instagram and for the giveaway, which I'm gonna be announcing in a few days. And now I'm just doing my glam because I'm about to take myself out on a lunch date. Then I think I'm gonna take myself shopping, obviously, because Valentine's Day, I gotta treat myself. And I wanna be nice and dressy when I go, okay? I always have to dress up for my solo dates. My rule is if I was going on a date with someone else, if I was going on a date with my boyfriend, I would put hella effort into my appearance, so why would I not do that when it's just me on my own, you know? And I am gonna be strutting through town hella confident. So for those of you who have been following me for a few years and you know that I've been doing this Valentine's Day solo day every single year, I think it's been, I think this will be my fourth one now. Um, and I always did it when I was taking some time out to just celebrate my singlehood, to enjoy the process of not having a partner and just change the perception that if you're alone, then Valentine's Day is like such a sad day for you. Like, no, you should just celebrate the love you have for yourself. But a lot of you also know that now I'm in a relationship. So me and my boyfriend do have Valentine's plans on the 14th and 15th of February. We're going on a little getaway, which I'm so excited for. But my rule on my self-love journey was this, I'm not gonna stop putting effort into this as soon as I get into a 
relationship. Like my self-love and my solitude isn't just a bridge between relationships that I just use to make myself feel okay because I feel lonely. No, it's a lifelong journey. It's a lifelong commitment and loyalty to myself. Oh my God, most importantly, this year is the first year I'm also gonna be celebrating Galentine's. I have never done that, but I texted my friend and I was like, in a few days, come over to mine, Friday night, let's make chocolate covered strawberries, let's have a movie night, let's play We're Not Really Strangers, which is my favorite card game, which is, like asks you deep questions. I have the self-love edition of it. And we can just check in with each other and have a cute Galentine's and like dress up all nice and watch rom-coms together. I've never done that. And so, you know, Valentine's is just such a cool, aesthetic girly holiday whether you have a partner or not you can find a way to celebrate it and so this is the first year that i'm celebrating it three separate days with different people i've made major strides in the friendship area of my life and like a couple of years ago i just cut a lot of people off and got super fussy with what friendships i allow into my life and what standards i'm setting for my friendships and it definitely meant that i was lonely for a long time but i've met some incredible people this year who just align to me so effortlessly and just make me feel so loved and understood and that love definitely deserves to be celebrated this year too you know i started my self-love journey to learn how to love myself more but then doing challenging things like going and dining amongst couples on the most romantic day of the year alone was major for my confidence and because people respond in shock I now document that journey online because I want people to change their perceptions of what it means to be single versus taken and why does being taken automatically equate to you lead a better fulfilling more successful life like that is utter bs okay i've been more miserable in the four past failed relationships i've been in rather than the entire year i took out for myself in fact i flourished in that year i got so much success i grew into my own i learned so many standards about what i wanted in my life that i wouldn't have known otherwise had i not taken that time out to think for myself and majority of my confidence came about when i was single you know why because i couldn't attach my confidence to other people or what other people thought of me because they weren't even in my vicinity like i was always alone that means that my opinion automatically was the most important one because it was the only one i was surrounding myself with so i thought i would give you guys a little story time of past valentine solo dates that i've taken myself on so the most recent one last year i was still living in my hometown i hadn't even moved to birmingham yet i had just gone to the city center like shopping center and decided to do a full date day there so I took myself shopping first treated myself to some new clothes and then I went um, to an Italian restaurant to take myself on a lunch day and then I also did a cafe day and I also did a museum day like all back to back it was a full day it was really fun um, but when I started off with my shopping day I was checking out I was at Zara and the cashier was like oh um, what are you doing like what are your plans for Valentine's Day because it was the 14th um, that I celebrated it and I said, oh, you know, just taking myself out to lunch after this, doing some shopping, might go to a museum. And he said, oh, he was like, you're all alone, why? And I was like, because I want to be. I just thought I love this holiday and I love celebrating it with myself. I, I really enjoy my alone time. And he just made the weirdest face at me, like, oh, like really, really judgy. But thankfully that wasn't the first time that I had celebrated Valentine's alone. So even though he was being very judgmental, it wasn't getting to me. Like, I feel like I just had this shield up that whatever judgment or negative vibes you throw at me, they can't penetrate this wall, okay? This wall is my unbreakable confidence that I have built from being alone and establishing the strongest sense of self, which evidently you don't have. Because here's the thing, you guys, if you are afraid of celebrating Valentine's alone out of fear that your friends might think you're cringy or people might judge you or look at you weird in a restaurant or pity you thinking that, you know, you can't get a date or whatever. Just remember, people are saying that because they're projecting their own insecurity and shame onto you. When people judge you for doing certain things, it's because to they themselves it's inconceivable that you would have the confidence to be able to do that so they form opinions based on how they would act if that same situation was happening in their lives it literally never has anything to do with you and that is how i remain so unfazed because i'm like honey i know you're trying to judge me right now but you're literally just telling on yourself 
And like, that's really sad for you. But at the end of the day, the girls that get it, get it. And if you don't get it, that's fine. It's not my responsibility to teach you or to even ex over explain myself. Like I told you I want to spend time alone and that's that. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. I was never seeking your approval in the first place. Okay, I finished with my glam. I'm just going to top off my lips with the NYX Matte Lip Cream in London. This is a go-to for me just to get a matte lip. And now it's time to pick an outfit. So I already know the dress I wanna wear. The question is now how I'm gonna style this. This is brand new. I got it from a brand called Miss 60 and it's just a denim mini strapless dress. I literally didn't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I love this because this style of dress is so trendy right now and there are so many different ways that you could style a dress like this. Um, it has these really cool like huge pockets on the side which are so handy. This dress, this color, with my stacked gold jewelry is such a vibe and when i was putting it on guys i realized this isn't even a strapless dress but they're hidden so well so actually you can do it any way you want so my idea was to put this trench on top to give it a more edgy look okay so i have this turtleneck that i'm putting on underneath for an extra layer and I think when you do this with dresses, it just makes them look so much more interesting. It gives you so many more ways to wear them. And then I think I'm going to skip out on the tights. And for shoes, I'm going to pair these black leather knee-high boots because I just feel like it matches the vibe of the dress. Are you joking? Would I not just be the most fashionable person in the street right now? I'm going to play it a little simpler and let the dress be the star of the show. I'm just going to pair it with this navy leather Demelia London bag. Saturday right now and it's packed in here so it makes vlogging a little bit awkward and noisy so I might switch to a voiceover but I just ordered a nice mocktail and some food I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy and it's been a while since I did a solo day at like a fancy restaurant so I'm really excited but in the meantime I'm just gonna look at the canal people watch be alone with my thoughts Saga has arrived. It's so fancy. It's salmon sashimi with wasabi, ginger, soy sauce, and this little ice bath. I have had this before and it's so, so bomb. I took a few little pictures for my Instagram stories and stuff and then I always make it a priority to put my phone away on a solo date. I know this might look boring to a lot of you, like I really do just sit there, I look around, but most of all I'm really present with my thoughts. I feel like my life is so full on. Most of us are, you know, we're always rushing to the next responsibility or errand or work task. And so when I'm on a solo date, I really just use that time to check in with myself. And don't get me wrong, you can use your phone to kind of build up your tolerance because it can be awkward in the beginning, but I eventually phased it out because I realized if I continue to use my phone I'm just using it as a distraction from actually spending quality time with myself. Walking on the canal right now because there's actually a Harvey Nichols at the end of this canal so I'm gonna go to this little small shopping center and spoil myself because that's what Valentine's Day is about. I was ready to do damage and I honestly didn't find much but just the process of window shopping for like an hour was really fun and it was a nice way to just spend that silent time with myself. In the end I just bought a Color Wow Dream Coat top up. Then I headed to a cafe, I tried out this new one which had such a cute vibe to it and I always like to have a reading day, it's my favourite type of solo day. I decided to really indulge and treat myself because it's Valentine's Day and I had this pastry which was absolutely divine, I haven't had one of these in so long. So I ate that, I read my book and just enjoyed the ambiance of the cafe and my matcha latte. Just 
just got back you guys the rain caught me but i'm back home and i'm gonna get on ready give this flat a bit of a tidy and just have a relaxing evening i don't get to unwind very often and although i had set a goal of like relaxing every evening that has not happened because work has been so full on so since today's theme is self-love i'm celebrating valentine's day and it's about just honoring my needs and prioritizing what's going to make me happy put some cozy clothes on might make some chocolate covered strawberries and watch a movie relax go to sleep early and just laze around a little bit before it's back to normal work and daily responsibilities tomorrow so i'm super excited today has honestly just been a day full of doing my favorite things and i have loved it i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did comment down below let me know what you liked because it helps me improve my future vlogs and feel free to check out all of my previous valentine's day that i spent solo because they are all YouTube videos online. Have the best Valentine's Day, guys, because you deserve it. Don't be afraid to go out there solo, celebrate the love you have for yourself. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see everything you accomplish. I love it when you tag me in your Instagram stories. And I will see you same time next week for a new vlog. Bye.